in another day from a package from China but guys hey it's awesome that you're tuning in so in this video we are going to take a close look at another Pandora's box yeah so for the people who are new to the channel Pandora's boxes are coming in different sizes with one player two player portable versions like I always want to say it's like a jungle the Pandora jungle so this device comes with the same stuff like an HDMI and USB because you can hook up the controller or the stick itself to a PC or another device like a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. And here we having an extra screwdriver because we need to attach the ball tops. That is more like a new thing. In the previous models we're going to get this gigantic box you can just basically plug and play. We're going to get some extra buttons but these buttons are not the best. Look at this. Oh, get official now, wicked wiggle buttons. But the touch itself, it's a cheap feel, but hmm, it's not, yeah, let's see how bad they are. Okay, so not to forget, we're going to get this time a deluxe, no one I've seen to looks toilet paper manual, but it's not really a toilet paper manual, it's a pretty good manual. With some information about the box itself, even how to add new files. So they did a very nice job with this. Hmm, I give them extra kudos for this. Special set, wicked kudos. Okay, yeah, very nice. We like the manual. So if you have any questions, check the manual this time. Okay, we're having the power supply. Nowadays we're going to get these very weird ones. More yeah, very weird, like look at it. Lithium ion charger. Alright. Nevertheless, they are working fine. I just test them out before I make this video. Oh boy, I really love the peel of these pieces of plastic. But go. You need to do this, otherwise you're going to get sticky keys. Okay, so we're going to leave this plastic on for now. Okay, so we're going to assemble the ball top. What I already mentioned, this is something new with the latest Pandora's boxes. Normally we're going to get more like a sticker. You can pull out the box and plug it into your television. It's super easy to assemble. And they're also going to give you a screwdriver that you're going to tighten up the ball. Otherwise, you're going to lose your ball. Alright, so the light up feature looks amazing on this device. The new EO gaming stick, I must say, I like it a lot. The blue is a little bit and, and very bright LED beneath them, so... But the EO gaming, man, it looks amazing. They have this gigantic RGB strip inside the machine, we'll show you later on. So, but then there's the question, all fun and game that we're going to get these light up buttons. But how is it with the quality of the buttons? Okay, so the joystick itself feels like a Samuel clone. Only more tension with the eternal spring. The buttons, the touch itself is not super bad, but they are quite wiggly. And I'm afraid when you're going to get some wear and tear on this button, they are going to get sticky. So the buttons, I wish they will give me better buttons. And with both players, we're going to get the start coin, pause, select and the LS button. Here you can see it's exactly the same configuration for player 2. And at the back we're going to get the same connections like always. We're going to get two USB ports and setting button, volume control, headphone out. We're having the VGA out, HDMI out and the input for the power supply. And we're going to get an on and off switch. Opening it up is super easy to do. Only removing three screws, just showing you two of them. And we're going to flip it open. That's it. So if you need to do some replacement, you can do it very easily. I did notice that it's slightly different, I think it's because of the lighter feature, but normally we're going to get not a ribbon cable, just a cable 3 from the main board to the buttons. Here we're having the same connection like a Senwa, so basically if you want to replace these buttons it's just a swappable, super easy. Here at the right side we're going to get hmm, quality issue, there's a cable loose from the joystick but you can just plug it in, but if you have any problems just open it up, it's maybe more like an assembly error nothing special so here we're having the gigantic LED strip that gives more like the cool RGB effect at the front here you can see that we're having still the same EDA connection and what I like about these Pandora's boxes especially when you're going to get a very nice casing you can always swap it with a different box what I find really interesting that we're going to get two speakers inside the machine one at the right and one at the left. But don't get me wrong, this is not stereo sound. No, they're doing a little bit of cheating here. Here you can see that basically soldering both cables together on this motor output pin. And on the other one, we're going to get the one for the on and off switch. And of course the power for the RGB strip. If you want to remove a Pandora's box, you can do it so easy. Just remove four of the parkers 
and you can lift out the main board. Of course, unplug all the cables first. What I like about this casing, we're going to get this big gapping hole at the back. And this means that this is more like a universal casing. We can slap every single mainboard in it. The casings are most of the time the same. This one is more like white. We're having different colors like with the Pandora Box 9 or 5 or 6. But this casing, I like it. Remove four screws. Be very gentle with the Wi-Fi connection. And that's it. Just gently remove the cable. And that's it. So this is what you're going to get with the Pandora box. This version is the GB3000 revision 1.4. So this is more like the latest edition. I've spoken with the guys of the Pandora tool who makes more like this program that you can hack your Pandora box and upgrade it and make it even better. They adjusted the cooler. Now we're going to get a completely different one. You can see here it's a brand new version 2021, the GM8000. Still having the blob and the CF card over here. So the Pandori team point me out that they are using new chips on this device and one of these chips is basically more like the flash chip. They make it smaller so hacking and upgrading it makes it slightly difficult. So this is what you're going to get with the fan so if you want to replace it you need to find this model. And replacing the fan can be very easy to do. Squeeze the pin and push it through. That's the only thing and you can even do it by hand. There's only one thing I noticed more like, why are they not using any quilling paste or whatsoever on the fan? It's kind of weird. Ah, here we have it. So this is the new model, the S812H. It's a very not really powerful chip. Nevertheless, so I think I will use some own cooling paste. Kind of weird that they're not doing this. Normally they have any cooling pads, but I think they just forgot it. So the AIMLogic S812H is a quad core. But when you're searching for this model, you will see that they were using it with Android 4 back in the day. So this is just more like a prehistoric chip they are using. Super low budget in combination with 2 gigabytes of RAM, if I'm saying it correctly. It's not a very high end stuff. So nevertheless, the 2021 model, it's still very underpowered. But right, let's put it back together. Let's slap it into the case and let's see what we're going to get when it comes to the performance. These machines come with many names. This is the Pandora Game 3D Plus Edition. So they did some minor tweaking with the settings, especially when it comes for adding games. That is slightly easier now. You can even do it without the Pandora tool. Not recommended. Okay, so we're having the same stuff all over again. So for the people who are new to this, so we're having here the all list, category, recent and search. So within the old Pandora box, we didn't have all these fancy stuff. And yeah, we're having all these categories. So what kind of games can we play with it? So if you're leaving it with the original Pandora's box or Pandora Game 3 software, we're going to get NES, Super NES, Mega Drive, Genesis, Game Boy Classic, Color and Advance. They did change out the logos this time. PC Engine, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, PlayStation Portable. So this is more like an overall that we're going to get. And not to forget MAME, of course, for Arcade. So we've got a lot of games and a lot of stuff and I know already what kind of performance we're going to get but it will give you a quick overview of the games and how good are they running. Oh, but before we're going to do that, let's take a close look at the menu. So the menu, there is no SPS ratio. We have some options like Turbo Fire. Uh, we have Wi-Fi capabilities only for the naughty store, I like to call it. Image optimization. So we're having scan lines and also we're having an, more like a filter makes an HD look alike. If you want to add controllers like through the USB, it's possible with the controller option or checking out if all the buttons are working and enter the game market. Basically what you can do here is when you're connecting to the Wi-Fi, it seems to be we can downloading some games. I did notice it didn't work that great, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. In other words, it's naughty. Alright, first up, let's try some PlayStation 1 with a very demanding game, but let's say up to PlayStation 1, it runs just fine. Oh, 
with Sega Dreamcast, it's great and all that it can play it, but it's not really the best performance. And when playing Dead Alive 2, I have this feeling that we're fighting underwater. There is not a lot of great speed in it. The speed that makes this game awesome, I'm missing it. PlayStation Portable is just not working perfectly, but what I do like, and this is unique to the Pandora's box at the moment, there is no other operating system having this, we're having versus modes. So the games like Tekken 6, when you're pressing play to start, it will automatically more like mimic or simulate that we're connecting two PSPs together. And this is an option that is pretty cool. Kazuya Mishima. Get ready for the next fight. Alright guys, so here we have the pros and cons. And I must say, I'm quite disappointed they're still using these old chips. And I'm hoping in the future, even if you need to pay, let's say 50 euros more, give out a main board that has really some beefcake specs. So we can finally play DC and 64 PSP way better than it is now. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.